Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Shakespeare's YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to look at uh, mathematical operations and uh, functions in Excel. All right? Uh, there are several videos that uh, I have uploaded and they precede this uh, new video. So what I encourage you is to watch uh, the previous videos uh, before watching this one. But if you think that you appreciate what we have done before, then that's fine. Proceed with uh, this um, this video tutorial uh, where we are going to look at uh, mathematical operations and functions. So the question could be how do we actually add values between two cells or how do we perform a mathematical operation using values from different uh, excel spreadsheet cells so here we go here is the question how do we add values that are in two different cells value in c3 and value in d7 so this is the formula that we put so the most important thing to note or to remember whenever you want to perform a mathematical operation is to start by putting an equal sign. Putting the equal sign tells the Excel application that you are putting a formula or you are now adding a formula into that cell. It doesn't treat whatever that you are putting as a value but as a formula. So it will reference um, it will get reference of um, it will get value references from the cell names that you are going to put in the formula for instance here we have equal to c3 plus d7 it will refer to the value that is in c3 and the value that is in d7 right so that's it then uh, we are going to use average some maximum minimum uh that's it that's going to be the few topics for today so let's go practical before we go there i encourage you to leave a comment like share and subscribe all right let's go practical let's go practical let's open our excel with in my noting that we want to add something so right so yeah i'm just going to delete what you have there i'm going to delete that as well then here i'm going to put quantity quantity say apple uh, the amount of um, the number of apples that i'm going to buy are four and then what else the number of oranges that i'm going to buy are two the number of bananas that i'm going to buy are ten. all right so what is the total cost now now we need to calculate to calculate the total cost we say quantity times price so how do we do that we put an equal sign and then we say this value times this value and press enter so we get our series of three and then we have learned about uh, auto filling no need to explain how to do it let's just do it we auto fill now we have our total cost there but now let's put this one uh, these uh, cells let's format these cells uh, for ourselves we've learned all this and our previous uh, lecture right so that's it this is the total cost that's the total cost that's how we multiply two cells if you want to add two cells let me just say uh, c3 let me just say the value in way and the value in way uh let me just say um value one and then value two 
right and then here i say sum and then next i say if so that you, you, we can see how things are done so here we say the first value is 50 and the second value and the second value one is 84 and then the second value two is two and here we put um, one 21 there and then the sum is for the sum let's just say get it from there sum you see it it, it is uh, highlighted the two cells with the values but if you want to change you can change but since we these are the two values that we want to add you just press enter so that's we say sum uh, here is 6 36 that's the sum and then we drag 36 and 36 therefore that's it then the difference we say the, um, the difference there is no difference here yeah? there's no different function so we say this one is goes to you see when i click the cell i'm going to get the cell reference there so it's uh, i2 minus j2 then i get the difference that one minus that one getting negative value and if you drag you see we get the values there now if you want uh, to get the average let's say average price here we can just say some there then average so we take from b2 this symbol between these two cell references it means the the cell to its uh, left is the starting point and the last cell is to its right so we are starting from there up to there and then the average is 10.40 and then if you want to find the minimum let's just say equal to and here we say minimum we are going to get two and then here if you want to get the what average we got it and let me just say what the maximum the maximum there oh no it's not it I said sum instead of maximum uh, maximum here we say that so 63.01 that's the maximum so that's how we uh, perform the mathematical operations in Excel uh, I think for today we're done sum we've done it average maximum minimum we are done and then performing uh, mathematical operations we've added we have, um, we've uh, multiplied values so that's it uh, for today these two are covered like comment share and don't forget to subscribe i like you guys you subscribe to my channel thank you very much for doing that and i wish you the best may god bless you uh, enjoy the rest of your day